good day people and welcome back to the channel as you just saw when i went live my name changed my profile picture changed and i posted twitter all done by streamerbot i'm going to show you how to do it using the extensions wiki and if you like how if you want to know how things like this are built i do build these kind of things on stream so don't forget to check me out at twitch.tv forward slash terry darts and while you're at, you might as well press that sub button. It helps me and lets me know that these kind of videos are liked. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, here is the Streamer Bot Extensions website. It is extensions.streamer.bot. And when you're on there, you'll come to this page. Down this side, this left hand side, is all the extensions we have. And if you scroll down far enough, you're on the order and come to Twitter Actions, click on that, you'll come to this page. And this page will be in the description, but here it is. So this tells you how to set up the app and how to get the elevated access on the Twitter side, which we, were gonna, we are going to show you. But, and I'm also going to show you the import code. So let's just quickly follow this. So we're going to go to the developer portal website. We're going to sign in, we're going to come to the dashboard. When we're on there, we go overview, and this needs to say elevated. If it doesn't say elevated, you need to apply for it. I can't remember exactly how to apply for it, but from what I know, it's, it's quite simple to actually apply. Um, then you're going to create an app, and it'll give you some keys, give it a name, and do it. What you need to do then is ignore the keys it gives you. Is when you go into your app, if you this is the same no matter which way you do it, really. But we've got app settings down here, there's an edit under the user authentication settings. So this top one needs to be turned off the 2.0, and you need the 1.0 on this one. We need the read and write selected, and then this is where. If, if it needs you to put an email address, a website in, put your Twitter address in like I've done. And then whatever on Streamerbot is, your HHT server is, then that's what you put in there. But if you go on this site, you can see that it explains that this number needs to match like this on Streamerbot. You'll do all that, you'll get some keys. After you've done all that, press save. And up at the top, it says keys and tokens. Click on that, and as you can see, you can regenerate your keys. So what you need to do is get your API secret and your API and your access token and secret. But you don't need to get them yet because we aren't in part of the code. But this is where you need to be set up. So once you get to this page and you all set up, we can just stop and post back. So you get the code, import it. It tells you what references you need if you need them. You shouldn't need them with the, with the latest update. They should just add in automatically. But if you need them, these are the ones you need. So I'm going to show you the code, the main code. As you can see, this out come down. This is where you're going to paste your keys. You need to make sure that the at, the at symbol and the quotation marks still remain. So you've got your consumer key and your consumer key secret. They're the API keys. And your access token, access token, your access tokens. So just drag and just copy and paste them into the code. Press save, press compile, make sure it compiles. It says here, compile. And if it's compiled successfully, press save and compile, you're done. Because then you, you, you're ready to tweet out. So just in case you didn't know, if you're serving some clients, this is where it is. So these need to match. So, so like I say, in in here, this Earl needs to match what this is telling it. And that is that bit set up. Then you're ready to use it however you wish to use it. So send in a tweet. This is if you want to do a command, send tweet. It'll take the raw text and tweet out. Um, you can use channel points for this, whatever. Tweet with an image again. This will do exactly the same thing. It'll 
you, you tell it where to look for the image file you tell it what text you want and it'll tweet it out again you can use i know lifesaver does his magazine thing and post to twitter and that's really cool and that's this is kind of the, what he uses he does a screenshot tells it where the screenshot is and then post it to twitter the bit i use the most is these two bits that update on live and update on end so we'll do the live one so this gets the broadcast information this is where i tell it what i want to change my name to so this is two red dots with live now and then it says terry darts this is my new profile picture that's good it's like a red with, with live on it this is pink now this is pink because it's disabled because i don't update my banner if you want to update your banner then you can just right click and press enabled and same with this one but and if you don't want to do like say you didn't want to change name you could disable that as well and this is the message it sent so again feel free to change that to how you need it to do right now it'll just say that you've gone live you're playing this game and here's, here's the link and that's what will post and it, the same happens on end as well so it changes it back to the old profile picture change my name back um don't change my banner because i never swap that but it's there if you don't want to do them then they can be deleted or they can just be disabled it's one of the new features that came with 1.8 which i really love but it's there to do however you wish to do it and that's twitter set up it's really simple the hard bit is going to be getting the keys make sure you have your elevated access and make sure when you post them in that the the, the, the um Increment the at symbol and the quotation marks are still there. But this this page will talk you through it if there's something that you missed or not understood in the video. Like it tells you what the tweet name is, it tells you what, what image path is. It tells you why some of them might be pink because they're disabled. But that is it and that's probably going to wrap up today's video it is a quick one hopefully um but it does talk about the hard bit is the developer tools and on the website there is a link to the developer support so if you have any really questions about the getting the keys and stuff like that that should be able to help you and getting the access um but I know everyone who was done it needed the elevated access for it to work. And I know it's taken a week for some people, it's taken a few minutes for some people, it's taken a couple of days. You know, the range is insane on it. But yeah, so there it is. And this is the first project we've used using this website. So if you like things like this, you want more, consider hitting in the sub button, consider Follow me on Twitter, I mean, and on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Terrier Darts. And I will see you all next time. Bye.